So one of you emailed me and asked me, what do I think about Jay Shetty? Why does he, even though he has been exposed as a fraud, why does he still have following? Why is he still popular? Why hasn't, you know, why hasn't he lost his popularity or been cancelled? In this video, I'll give you not only Jay Shetty, but I'll speak to you about, for example, Jaggi Vasudev. Then, uh, you know, like, why do people follow Jaggi Vasudev? Why do people follow Zakir Nayak? Why do people follow Grant Corden? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, that alpha male, I even forgot his name. He always portrays uh, Tate, Andrew Tate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so irrelevant. I now don't even remember his name. Okay, so why do people follow this? Okay, I'll answer in this video with logic and you give me your thoughts. Now, let's start with me. Let's start with myself. There are many people who come to my channel and say, who the fuck would listen to this guy, man? Look at him, look like a tattooed freak, half naked. This looks like a loser, a Mexican cartel. I mean, he openly says he's a womanizer, was was a womanizer. He, you know, he's uneducated. He is. He doesn't have a degree. And who the fuck would take advice from him? Now, if someone like me, whom you're right, I look like a tattooed freak. I was a womanizer. I have a very bad bad past. Uh, I'm a school dropout. If someone like me, with all these drawbacks, can get a following, can get a subscriber base. Then the fact of the matter is, anybody can. There is a target market for anyone. There is, if people follow Zakir Naik with all the garbage he spews, people follow Sadhguru with all the pseudoscience nonsense of the planets and the charts and, uh, you know, Sh Shiv Bhagwan and Shiva Ling does this and that. The, the Bible preachers, Bible thumping preachers, they literally tell you that Jesus told me that you should donate to pay for my private jet and educated people they donate money for a preacher to buy a private jet can you believe that 150 million no jesus doesn't want me to ride in first class or 100 million he wants me to have a 350 million streamlined jet jesus has told me let's spread the word of god and people are dumb enough to go for that also so for every brand every individual in fact uh, Mind Valley, Vishen Lakhiani. I'm sure you must have seen those ads. He's lately, his new uh, marketing uh, or sales promo on YouTube is uh, Helen someone is, uh, what? She manifested a husband and she got it. She manifested her luck and she got luck. She manifested money, she got money. And uh, by, she is the master of manifestation. He's going to give you a course on how to manifest the right husband, the right job, the right money, just visualize and believe in pseudoscience bullshit. Okay. In fact, one of his videos, you can Google search Vishen Lakhiani, how to read a book without reading. You just touch the book, you feel the vibration and all the information comes here. Don't take my word. Google search. Okay. Search on YouTube. So people fall for that new age bullshit also. Seriously, people actually book a ticket, they book a ticket, travel all the way to Malaysia for three days, five days to listen to this bullshit and they become a certified course content creator of manifesting your destiny. There are coaches of also, there's one course called Hoponopo, 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 something like that. It seems the ancient art of good luck or something. $49, hopo no po, no po, no po, no po, something like that. So, th there is a market for, in, in fact, there was a Facebook page where uh, it got banned and closed down. Uh, they have a page where they, you know, insects and animals, they will, they will kill them, squish them or stamp on them and make them pulp. They'll destroy it. There was a group for that also. In fact, uh, we know this. Globally across the world, there are men and women with normal families, but they are interested in having, you know, 
in pedophile activities, having sex with underage children. <sighs> You'll be surprised to know I have, because I'm a public figure, I've actually bumped into people like this online, not real life, seriously asking about uh, pedophilia. Some have even taken the audacity of sending me that they want underage girls, where can they get in Philippines or this or that or and I've reported them to the authorities straight away. Just imagine there is a market for each and every kind of, uh, you know, genre or taste. So don't you think Jay Shetty also would have... Now, let's look at it practically. If you were to take my photograph and Jay Shetty's photograph and put it side by side, mm. by default, out of 100 people, maybe 99 would say, without knowing I, either of us, they would say, Jay Shetty is decent. Jay Shetty looks like a nice man. Jay Shetty looks sincere. He has those, I don't know, blue eyes or cat eyes or, and that warm smile. He looks like a very nice guy. He looks like one of those sweet, charming, lovable, chocolate boy dates whom you'd love to introduce to your mother and father, rank holder, number one sports, a very likable person. In fact, you know, Voidzilla or Coffeezilla spoke about him and mentioned that he uh, even met the president, President Biden. He gave him mental wellness advice or something, even though he's not qualified. Now, though, and he was also the best man at JLo's wedding and... <sighs> See, human beings are emotional uh, human beings, okay? They're, they're emotional creatures. They don't judge or they don't evaluate based on logic. They, we always use our emotions and me included, all of us. We see a small little child with big eyes and crying. Or we see a panda with those sad eyes or we melt. We melt as human beings when we see a baby, we're not going to be rough. We melt. As human beings, we have that, you know, emotional side, the maternal instinct. So, yes, and that is why when a person purchases a car or some electronic device or they will justify it like I purchased what do you call that two dual screen laptops even though I don't need them I justified it by saying I want to experience new technologies I'm hardly using it and it is something that most people cannot afford to buy so we all do this like when you buy a super expensive car with all the extra fittings and spoiler and uh, what? Music, uh, sound system and all that. They'll justify, oh, I got this as a special offer or uh, this was my dream or this thing. Maybe they can't afford it. Maybe they'll take a bank loan. Marriage, so many people take a bank loan. Wife takes, husband takes, family takes. To invite people who will never be there for them in their time of need. Majority don't know who the fuck they invited. They'll give free food and free all these, uh, you know, enjoyments. Just to take a video just to show off, just to take photographs for one day and they'll justify this happens once in a lifetime, I want to live my dream and then they'll spend the next 5 to 10 years paying the loan make sense? so as emotional beings we make decisions and we justify them and we'll do what our heart says so which is why people like Andrew Tate, Jay Shetty the Mind Valley uh, Vishen Lakhiani, then Sadhguru, Zakir Naik, uh, you know, Christian evangelists, all these people exist. All. Okay. Even me, for that matter. We all exist because somewhere, somebody resonates with us. And uh, either you use logic or you use emotions, and then you decide and you connect with this person. And you know, some of you ask me, what will happen to Jay Shetty? He'll continue. He will continue to exist because he has tasted success. He will do whatever it takes to remain relevant. Whether it was here in my garage, Pai Lopez, Grant Cardone, Andrew Tate. They will, you know, once they've tasted success and money, they will not want to go. And in a social media age, as long as you're relevant, like this, you know, people say, oh, Allah, you're milking it. They will milk it for all it's worth. There's nothing wrong. If Logan Paul can have people admire him, worship him, 
even though he has committed, you know, scams and, you know, with his crypto coin, people still follow him. You can literally be a person who is a rapist or this thing, you'll still have fans. We live in that kind of world. Look at the Israel-Palestinian war. There are Israelis who are literally celebrating, having stand-up comedy shows, making fun of men, women and children, innocent, who are dying. And they're laughing. They're actually showing the videos and laughing. So, this is the world we live in. So, bottom line, what I want to tell you is, uh, as long as human beings have emotions and feelings, and they have their biases, and they have their preferences, they will do things that may not make sense. Someone who follows Sadhguru will really scratch their head and wonder, why the fuck do you follow Zakir Naik? And someone who follows Zakir Naik will scratch their heads and wonder, why the fuck you follow this fake Hindu guy? And same can be said about a Christian. They will look at Zakir Naik, e, look at this. He looks like a goat. Look at uh, Sadhguru, he's talking pseudoscience. Our Christianity is real. And then you have an atheist, will say, all of you talking crap. So where does it end, man? And like I told you, you know, so many times here in where I stay, Samuvi or Kopangang, the other island, there are Goras, whites, who come here preaching about Hindu, Hinduism and Ayurveda. You can Google search, it has happened a few, few days ago. A white guy, I think Russian or from Netherlands, not too sure. He was teaching, teaching and preaching Sex yoga, seriously, sex yoga, tantric uh, yoga or Ayurvedic forbidden. They'll teach you how to orgasm and this. He will align your chakras. They have Hindu god photos and they'll put on a saffron thing and tea kind, sit in a lotus position, finish, became guru. <laughs> we get some Indians who come, you know, with these bowls that if you move the thing, apparatus around, make some noise. This is sound energy healing. It will heal diseases, cancer, brain tumor, just by the sound. Uh, what to say? So yeah, this is the state of affairs of our people. If you have a world where people can eat cow dung, drink cow piss, have bath in so they dip themselves in cow dung floating shit, bathe themselves and say, this will protect me from ultraviolet rays or uh, COVID. They even, one of them even put uh, cow dung all over his car because he said, uh, this will protect my car from ultraviolet radiation. Whew, anything is possible, man. Yeah, right now we have transgender ideologies. Uh, you're not a boy, you're not a girl. Choose what you want. You're 100 different genders. You can be a, what? Uh, spirit, spirit, uh, what? Sparrow spirit or uh, a gender or no gender or genderless or alien gender. People subscribe to this also. Hmm. All right. So this is the state of affairs of our human beings. <sighs> Each one to his own boss. And as long as we have idiots on our planet, there is a market for anything and everything. All right. Good, bad, ugly, feel free, comment down below. It's me signing off. You guys take care.